They are anxious to get off the ship, uh, stay in town, sample local food, go to the beaches. Um, so they are anxious to uh, partake in the Barbados and people out there do. And, it, and the ability to exchange that information is a very valuable to an emergency response capability. And we must allow for that in our uh, command post systems. Yes, uh, I can't get into specifics of it. It's not like top secret classified or anything. Uh, but certainly we plan on to use uh, that outlet and uh, we'll make sure uh, during the distinguished visitor uh, and uh, press uh, assemblage uh, during the exercise that we feature that for you. I think that's something uh, our citizens need to know about. Participants will benefit from the delivery of training that has been designed to enhance their capability in responding to some of those challenges which, if mm -hmm. not kept under control and properly managed, will continue to threaten the peace, security, and stability of this hemisphere. It is therefore of utmost importance that law enforcement and other security agencies seek to stay ahead and on top of the security challenges and strive earnestly and resolutely to practice and perfect their tactical and operational skills. Exercise Trade Wings 2012 aims to assist in this regard. There may be some persons who may question the need for this exercise being held in Barbados. Exercise Trade Wings will not only serve to further strengthen our relations with SOUTHCOM and the partner nations, military and law enforcement personnel, but it will also allow us the opportunity to strengthen the skills and capabilities of the local military, law enforcement, and disaster response personnel as they endeavor to deliver the highest quality of service to the people of Barbados. In fact, we're taking this uh, to a higher level of readiness by the inclusion of our friends at Sedema, also at the uh, Emergency Management Agency, and um, whenever we have a local or uh, regional disaster of some sort, uh, of the scale that we saw with our friends in Haiti just a, a, a few uh, short now going on two years ago, it, it is not an individual unilateral effort. It is a regional community effort to help our friends within the, uh, in the arena. And uh, that's what this training exercise is for. This year, we will have our friends from the Emergency Management Services integrated into the command and control and communications. And uh, many times, if some of the first responders as such, or your defense forces or your military forces, but we know it's also the civilian integration of that command and control that makes things happen over the long term and allows us to react. When we have a... Um, uh, humanitarian response that's necessary, citizens demand immediate reaction, and that does not happen overnight unless you prepare for it. And that's what the investment of this money, resources, and equipment, and people is for in the, uh, in, in the months coming here. It's a good investment. We're very thankful for uh, Barbados hosting this, this opportunity. A little bit about trade wins this year. Uh, in, in its uh, ability, uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Vickers mentioned there will be uh, several tracks of training. And we've seen the exercise grow over these uh, 28 years from something where we're doing strictly military types of training, but now to operational types of training where we, we look at the uh, ability to bring all these resources together where we can have the best effect.